look at the stickers that are like all oily and stuff being destroyed but they still so cool like this. Welcome to this end adventure. I'm Jim Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today we're joined with Yuk Chang. We're gonna be doing a review on the luxurious bastards products today and diving into a bunch of their scents. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the brand. All right, guys, before we look at all the products, we are gonna dive into the website. We're not gonna spend too much time right here, but I do wanna go over a few things that I think are kinda cool. Like the fact that we have all of the scent profiles for the mainline scent conveniently listed right here on this page. That's gonna make it easy to buy when you're searching through all the categories. Now, when you are searching through the categories, make sure you take a look at this clearance section you're gonna be able to pick up a few good deals. He also has a section for her, so your old lady doesn't get mad that you're buying some more beard products. Also make sure you take a look at this new section because he's always coming out with some new drops. And of course, samples. This is an easy way to introduce yourself to the brand, and he's got all of his mainline scents for just $5 a sample. That's actually a pretty good deal. Next up, we are gonna be moving on to the ingredients. For the beard oil, we have 11 different oils, including hemp, avocado, and hazelnut. Now the beard butter is gonna include the cocoa and shea butter, plus those 11 oils. And the beard balm is gonna have all of that, plus two different waxes. Now it's time to take a look at the products and the containers. The labels here are pretty simple, but they look cool. They are not waterproof, so if you get oil on them, they are gonna darken up kind of gives an antique look. We are looking at some butter right now and it's scooped out quite nicely. It is gonna melt to the touch and it feels pretty nice in the beard. Now we're looking at the balm, it comes in the same container. This one's a fresh pour. Uh, if I pull some out, it does come out nice and easy, but it doesn't really melt. That wax does hold back the phrase quite nicely. Now this beard oil is a little darker than most beard oils and it's kind of like that light medium viscosity but I do like the feel in beard. We get like this light gel color for the wash and a cream color for the conditioner. Both work well. Welcome back from all of that. We are gonna be diving into all of the scents right now. I have quite a bit of products here. We'll start with the ones in the tins. First one up is Vetiver Bastard. Mm. I like a little herb in there. It's like almost creamy too. I like these brands, this stuff is pretty good quality. The butter, like lots of the beer butter, have like a peanut butter scent back there, <laughs> baby powder. Yeah. But this one does not, it's good. It's clean, clean herb scent. We're gonna put the Vetiver Bastard right here in the center. This is the Freya Bastard. Let's see if I can open these up. Ooh, this is brand new. I haven't even used this one yet. So what do you think about that? How come that one is so different in texture? This one has been melted, I believe, in the summer. Mm. We got a few that got What's, melted. It yeah. smells like a, you know, it's a four cents for me, like a little. It's like a, you know, it's a very comforting sense in the background going on. Sweetness we. I like it. I this one's a good one. Scent. I like it. I'm, I'm screwing these lids on wrong each time. Where do you want to put this guy? Ahead of the Vetiver bastard? Um. A little bit behind. Behind. Yeah, I don't it, know. They kind of split different. All right. It's different I'm putting it like that right now. All right. We have Boco Bay or Baco Bay. Um, what are you feeling here? This one's. This one's got some like lime. Lime. A little bit lime. Yeah. Hmm. Right. What else is in there? There's like. Is there tobacco in there? Like a tobacco lime. Where do you want to put this guy behind. in the tier list? Behind everything. Next one up. This one, I'm gonna tell you what, is one of my favorites. This is the Berserker Bastard. Oh, wow. You and he, I've used a lot of this. This is a scent that will last all day. Go ahead and take a sniff of that. Oh, I smell that a lot from here. I see. Yeah, that's a really interesting scent. How, it's like very comforting. Yeah, I enjoy this. I how about explain it. I love this scent. I don't know what's going on here, but it is, um, it's amazing. Man, <laughs> this is so good. It has definitely got to go up to the front for me. Next one up, this is Graceful Bastard. This is another one I've dug into a little bit. It's a really sweet scent. It's got like citrusy, oh. sweet, almost candy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the scent I really enjoy. Where do you want to put this guy? I think 
Yeah. What do you feel on that, guys? Really you don't care for this one? I'm going to put it in the back. You don't feel like it's so interesting? Yeah. But uh, make a note, I do like this one. I think it should go up a little higher. This one is fantastic faster. And this is another one of those sweet scents. This one, uh, I like that one too. 100%. You like that one? I can't put right, cool. number one, can I? Just number, number one? one? Maybe number two because you have the one you really like. That's a very open my appetite. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll make this your list. This will be your number one. That's a good scent. I it, like the Fantastic Bastard. Fantastic it Bastard? It makes me yeah. feel like I want to eat that. Guy right here is the Vintage. What are you getting off this guy? This guy feels like, it feels vintage. It, it feels like antique like oil. <laughs> Oil. <laughs> hmm. Not um, getting much off this one. Not much. It's like a clean, clean, little bit of sweetness there. I get like a, almost like a wood scent here, to be honest. But uh, it is a lighter one. We're gonna move on to dark. Where do we want to put this on the tier list? We'll put this one towards the back since we couldn't pick up too much scent. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go with dark. I like this. You're gonna probably like this. It feels like there's coconut in there, but I don't think there really is. It's got something happening. I can't happening. really smell so much the oil polish. Mm -hmm. I got it. Oh, coconut. Oh yeah. Get a little coconut off that. Mm. Yeah, it's like a, it's a pretty soft coconut. Where do you want to put this guy in the tier list? I like this one uh, in yeah, the it middle. Is. It's a good one. This one's called Sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and see how sweet it is. This one reminds me of Skittles. It gets the Skittles scent. Sweet yeah, let me get you another paper. I can smell this. Yeah, smell Skittles. One? Smell like Skittles. Mm, mm. I like I like Skittles. Maybe Skittles so. is one of my favorite. It's I'll hard. put it here in the middle, just because you're probably not a huge fan of the Skittles. Yeah, I don't really like. I I, I prefer the butter than the oil. Right, like, if I choose just one butter, I, I okay. think the butter is very good. Moving on, we got a beard wash over here, and I'm almost out to be honest, because I've used the heck out of this stuff. I actually love this, even for my uh, hair. I think you love and this body. Brand. I like this brand too. It's kind of like a Cuban tobacco, is what it reminds me of. I smell it. I smell and it's that. 1886 is the <laughs> scent. What are you getting? What are you I, feeling? I, I don't know. What it is. You don't know? Okay. Well, I'm going to put this guy in the middle right here somewhere too, because I actually really enjoy this tobacco scent, and uh, I might just get it in the uh, oil. This one right here is a coconut that you'll probably oh, like. Yay. This is the uh, beard conditioner. And I haven't used this very much because I don't really like this tropical coconut scent. I before. love it. Uh, it's very good. You like you this know, one? Like, yeah, like some of the scents like this is very artificial, but this is pretty good. Like it's just like right, right on, like not too strong. It's just comforting. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the tropical coconut, but it is done well. Where I love do you, that. Where do you want to put this guy in this With list? With the coconut. With the coconut, yeah, oh, this is, uh, right here. Similar, very good. I mean, our our tier list is getting kind of jumbled. This is the Valhalla. I don't think I've used this one to be honest. Ooh, that one's interesting. I don't know why I haven't messed with that one so much. What are you feeling here? It's a clean. It's like a uh, green. It's a lot of some green notes in there, but not it's too really, green. It's really, really good. It's kind of close to the one you really like. You know, it's close to that kind of scent. You really this like. one's way more spicy and like really in your face. This one's not too strong, but this one's definitely more. I don't it's know. Kind it's of a comforting. mild, mild. I don't know. I even know how to explain this. It's it's pretty good. Where like do you want to put this guy? Man, uh, I think we should put this guy in kind of up here towards yeah, the front. I'm going to put this one over here, actually. Mm -hmm. That one's pretty good. All right, we have... Oh, this is another graceful bastard. Do you want to just smell it see if the oil's different for you? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we'll put it right over there. All this right. Sweet. We have... We have the soothing bastard. Let's see what we get here. Hmm. I don't know if that's lemon. It don't know, it reminds me of like a, like a, I don't know, like a honey lemon water or yeah, something it, for some it reason. Is. is that the Ooh. one I like? The, uh... I don't think you've ever smelled this one. This one's called Soothing. Where do you want to put, where do you want to put Soothing? Close to the lime one I like, um, like one of the lime ones over here somewhere. 
Oh. I'm going farther back than that. Higher, farther back. All right, put it up. All right, this video is gone off the rails. We have the uh, Odin Bastard. This is another one I haven't really touched much. Oh, that's a strong scent. What do you think about this guy? That's a. It's good, huh? I love this one. It's it's interesting. Fun. Wow. Is Why that didn't like I a get to this little one? honeysuckle there? Is that yeah, I was just thinking that. It's like a honeysuckle. Like a. Hmm. Sweet honey pollen, but then there's like Ooh, the almost an will like to in the you. background. I don't know. I should have looked at all the scent notes or whatever. You want to put this guy kind of close yeah, to the front? That was yeah, a pretty it's good impressive. one. We have Sweet Grove, and uh, I'm going to tell you what, I like this one. <laughs> I've used this a lot. This one, smell how like real that is. It's, it, it reminds me of uh, an orange blossom. And oh, pink. yeah, I love this one too. Probably, I think it's even better than the uh, honeysuckle scents. The uh, orange blossom is very good. I've been here some orchards for a while. Every year you get the bloom from the orange fields. And uh, this is like spot on. It brings me right there. Do you have to shake it every time you use it? Yeah, yeah sure. You can shake it. Yeah, let's put the, you want to put this guy up yeah, kind of close to the front? Yeah, front of the honeysuckle, you know. Okay, and now this last one. Yeah. Curious bastard. I freaking love this one. Really? Yes. Yes, I love this one so much. This is one of his mainline scents. Oh. <laughs> you always say it's the Indian curry one. No, it has no curry. Like there's, a kind of like Indian food. Like it's not just there's curry. like leather, there's frankincense. He's got like cinnamon clove. The clove is pretty mm. strong. Maybe that's why I smell it like a foot spice. The clove isn't so strong that you notice it's clove. It's like tied in perfect with that leather. This is a beautiful scent. Mm. This is so good. Yeah, it's very I don't, unique. I don't know if you like it or you don't like oh, it. Yeah, this you, one is so good. This one if is. If you like it, you will really like it. If you this don't one like it, is. Uh, this one's up here. So where oh, where would you put this guy in the tier list? Mine is. Well it's pretty you. fun. Yeah, in a fun. Okay. It's very special. You know, every time you put it on, you can smell it right away. Yeah, I love it. It's so unique. So. That's it. Wow, we got actually quite a bit of scents from Luxurious Bastard, and all of them are top notch. It's very good brand. All the ingredients are top tier in this. Uh, the scents are top tier. If you're looking for beard products, man, you have to check out Luxurious Bastard. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to wrap up over here? I think this is one of the best beard products. <laughs> Friend, I I really do. I, I really like the uh, the design and everything. Mm. All right, that's gonna wrap this video up. You already know what to do. You like, you share, you subscribe. You know how YouTube works. We'll see you on the next adventure. In peace. <laughs>